is in two days premiere in, in Belgrade to present it to, to, to Serbian people. So, uh, something about your expectations after these four years of work. Uh, my expectations coming into this are the same ones that I've had for the last four years. So come in with an open heart in anything that happens, anything that people see, anything that they say, you take it in, and that's the biggest gift. My mistake would be to say, I want to feel successful, I want to feel accomplished. That's not what this journey has been about. This journey has been about allowing myself to put myself in other people's shoes, taking their experiences and sharing them with everybody else. So if there's one thing I expect is that people come with an open mind, appreciate the film, and share it with their friends so that the real Serbian spirit, authentic musical spirit, is spread out there and not the bastardized Tobo folk version. I arrived in Serbia and I had no plans. I had made no connections. I only had one friend here who was on semester at sea with me. And that was it. And he said, oh, oh, by the way, uh, you can't stay at my house. <laughs> so here I am, my first day in Serbia. <laughs> and he puts me up in a hostel and I'm like forced to like make connections with people. And like, you know, I, I have a round trip ticket that's not gonna leave for another 75 days. So I'm like, oh my goodness, I think I have to make something work. So I traveled around for, for the day and I went to the local high school and at the local high school I made a, I, I saw this girl with like really big hair and way too much makeup and I then I went there again the next day and then for some odd reason she approached me and we started talking she asked me like oh I heard that you speak Spanish and I'm like yeah yeah I'm from Puerto Rico then all of a sudden she starts speaking Spanish and I'm like wait a second why do you speak Spanish she's like oh I watch telenovelas I'm like wow and you know that that girl is Andrea, who is now my sister, and she kind of opened the doors to show me what the Serbian life and what the Serbian experience was. And like for the next two months, I stood at her house, and she took me everywhere. And she told me, you know, this is what we do here. This is these are the type of music clubs. This is the type of music that we have here. This is the environment. And I remember being so enamored and curious about the music culture and I would try to research it and I couldn't find anything that would explain to me the, the phenomenons that I was hearing. And I said, you know, I had this handheld camera and I think I'm making a documentary right now, but I wasn't, you know. And um, that's when I realized that I had to come back. You know, after a whole summer of taking in all the culture in and, and experiencing Serbia for what it was, not what the news had taught me, what, not what I had learned through reading, um, online, I realized that I had a responsibility, which was not to just experience the culture, but export the positivity. Well, let me be really honest, it actually started slightly before exit, the year before I saw all the posters for exit on my first visit to Serbia, and I was like, wow, that sounds like a really good time, so I should go. And um, I remember I was celebrating my birthday at a nightclub, and I heard this song by Peggy Lee, which is a very famous American singer. But then it just went into this crazy remix. And I'm like, wait a second. This is no longer American. I don't know what this is. And I did some research, and it was Gramofonje. So then I found out the next year that Gramofonje was playing at Exit. And, you know, I'm at the front row, like, blowing kisses. I wish he knew who I was. You know, he blew a kiss back to me. I was like, you know what? I made a connection. I'm going to send him a message on Facebook, and he responded. So then that's how I ended up becoming, knowing that I was going to go to Exit the, you know, the following year and try to figure out, you know, why are we making this music with American influences, but in Serbia, and why do I like it so much? So Exit was the opening, was the door for me to come here and start understanding and appreciating Serbian music culture. And what made me realize that this film was about music was that whenever I reached out to an artist on Facebook, they would answer. They would want to say, hey, yeah, let's go have a coffee. I never had someone say, I can't meet with you. And that's what changed my perspective. The openness, the willingness to share their story about music and how they wanted to change these perceptions of like what the world thought of them through their music. So that was the first bullet.
movie broke me down. It really did. This is one of the hardest things that I have ever done. When you put all of your heart into doing something and you, you, you don't exactly get what you want, it kind of traumatizes you as a young adult, as a young professional. And like I, I knew I wanted all of these things, all of these results out of it, and I put all my energy and all my passion to making it happen, and it didn't always happen that way. And um, I cried once a month. I remember sometimes I would get a bill for $5,000, and I'm like, oh my God, how am I gonna do that? Like, how am I gonna come up with this money? Like, and I'd make phone calls or, you know, letting my supporters know that I was still working on this and, you know, I'm raising $50,000 and then for five years I'm telling people, yeah, I'm still working on it. Yeah, I'm still working on it. Like, I, I struggled with people thinking that I was lying because, you know, as a perfectionist, I, I don't like showing things that aren't done. And for me, it was, it was an emotional struggle to know that I'm working on something but kind of feel that people didn't trust me because they hadn't seen anything. And that was really hard on me. Like I, every time I talk about the documentary, I feel like people thought I was lying to them. Like, no, you didn't make anything. Oh, you're lying. It's not done. You've been saying this for five years. Hello, I'm only 25. You know, you say something for five years, people think you're like a pathological liar. You know, and then all of a sudden, like, you know, that's why, you know, being here in Serbia and like seeing that in Domo Mladine and having these movie posters printed out, I'm just like, holy shit, it's real. But it made me strong because, you know, as real as it is, my mom wasn't at the premiere. My dad wasn't at the premiere. My family, you know, my immediate family wasn't at the premiere. And I'm not saying that they should have been, but how real is it if you're not there? And I realized that this career can be very lonely. But I wouldn't change it for anything. Because I'm not doing it for my family. I'm not doing it for my friends. I'm doing it because this is my art. This is how I express myself. I gain strength by connecting with people, empowering them to share their stories, by changing what I perceive to be my personal truth, and growing in the process. Creating films, producing films, gives me energy. I get satisfaction off of people sharing who they are. That's the most powerful thing. I can't see myself doing anything else in life. Yes, I'm a film teacher at Commonwealth Academy, and I love it. Because I'm empowering kids to share stories, to tell stories. And this film, this one project, over the last five years has empowered me to continue. There is no greater satisfaction than to know that I can help people have a voice. And this film is not about my voice. It's about the voice of a country who has been muted for so many years, whose fate has been decided by other people because their own have had a limited voice. There is no filter. There are no foreign interests in this film. The only interest that you are going to see is what people wanted to share. And if I'm able to help people do that by giving them the venue, I'm fulfilled. It's not about me. It's not. It's about the stories. I don't pick sides. You know how many sides I could have picked being here? <laughs> Serbia. Hello. I could pick many sides. But it's not about sides. It's about stories. And everybody has one. 